Hi guys, and welcome to my video. In this video, I want to talk about collisions in Roblox Studio. What are collisions? Well, when we're talking about collisions, we're talking about when two parts collide with each other, simply touching each other, and what happens when they touch each other? How do, we, how do they interact? Do they bump up with each other, or do they pass through each other? And this is the main principle of collisions. So here I have a bunch of spheres uh, suspended above the, this base plane. And the collisions are active right now. So I'll give you a little demonstration of what would occur if uh, we just run the simulation. So you can see that the, the spheres collide with the base plate. They collide with each other. They're bouncing up and down, and collisions are, are in full force. Um, they're abiding by the laws of physics here, or the, the gravity um, parameter. And they're following those laws of physics just fine. Now let's go ahead and stop that. To give you an idea of what would occur if we went and we removed the collisions, we come here to the properties. Okay, so this is where we would um, adjust collisions. So you can see, uh, here's, a, here's a, a tab and it's called collision. And you'll notice, um, can touch, can collide. So we'll, we'll go ahead and check this box. We'll make sure it's unchecked. And then now collisions have been removed for each and every one of these spheres. So take a look at what happens when we run the simulation. As uh, collisions have been removed, the spheres just pass right through everything. They pass through themselves. And if they were to hit your avatar, nothing would really happen um, as far as collisions go. It, it wouldn't bump into you, pass right through you. And you can pass right through it. So that's why you might notice in some games you can pass right through certain models. It's because collisions have been removed, um, generally. So when it comes to um, creating or, or building um, in Studio, there's a, a box up here when it comes to um, working with parts. So if we check this collision box, it simply means that when you're moving parts around, they won't touch each other. So I'll give you an example. Let me duplicate this sphere right here and look at what happens when I, every time I duplicate it. They stack right on top of each other, which means um, the collisions uh, prevent them from um, uh, occupying the same space. But if I, if I go ahead and uncheck collisions and I duplicate, you'll notice I'm creating more spheres, but they're all in the exact same spot, right? So you'll notice that um, the collisions have, uh, if I remove it, then they can just occupy the same space. You can have um, a thousand spheres right in this spot, and it just looks like one. So that's the, 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 the property up here when you're working with parts or you're just building. Um, if you have collisions when you're laying bricks down, the bricks won't touch each other, which is actually pretty useful for um, you know, building with precision. Uh, many times I have it unchecked because I like to, you know, duplicate it quite a bit and just kind of spread them around like that. And it, it's kind of fast and easy that way. So again, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and activate collisions. All right, within these spheres, and let's again get a very clear idea of what happens when collisions are enabled. Again, they will follow the laws of physics, and they will be um, an actual thing or an obstacle that you can interact with and, and collide with. So that pretty much sums up the video, guys. Uh, I'd like to leave it there, nice and sweet. Um, if you have any comments, let me know. If you have any ideas or things you want to learn about, please let me know. Be, um, I'm curious about your projects and, and what's going on uh, with you as a developer. So if you found this video informative, go ahead and like it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.